Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to learn about how to play the Evans Gambit, the Bishop C5 line. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So the Bishop C5 line you can see in two different move orders. So B4, making it the Evans Gambit, sacrificing the wing pawn for the center pawn. Um, generally, you're going to see bishop takes, but knight takes b4 is also possible. But c3, um, knight a6 would, j would just be bad because e5 is going, and the knight is terribly placed on a6, so knight c6. Um, but here we're going to look at it through the more popular bishop takes b4, c3, and bishop c5. Um, so now, always d4, take, and castle. So before you start attacking, you want a castle. Next, we're going to look at if take on c3, if they're greedy. Um, we can take on f7. So bishop takes f7. You don't want to play queen d5 because queen e7 would protect both the bishop and the pawn on f7. So here, bishop takes f7, king takes, queen d5 check. Um, and then we're going to pick up the bishop, and now his king is going to be wide open. So take on c3 is not a good variation. Now knight e7, we're going to play knight to g5. Or f Sorry, first we take on d4. Always take on d4 first. Um, because here, you basically get this pawn for free. You get a tempo, you push the bishop back. And now you have the center. So here, knight g5, um, hitting this pawn on f7. And here, after castle, we can just play queen h5. And this would be completely winning because we attack both h7 and f7. h7 being stronger because it's checkmate. Um, and if h6, knight takes f7, um, he has to give up the exchange with rook takes f7. Um, and here we can play queen takes and just have a very nice position. Because if queen e8, we take here, king here, knight f7 check. King back, queen h8, checkmate. Um, and you'll actually get this in probably a couple of blitz games. I've had this against some 23, 24 hundred players online. Um, so here, this is one of those nice, easy ways to win against the when you play the Evans Gambit. But knight e7, more likely, is d5. But here, take knight a5, and now d6. Opening attack on f f7 and hitting the knight on e7. So here, if take on c4, we can play queen check. So we're going to pick up this knight this way. Um, if knight c6, we simply play rook e1 check, keep that king in the middle, if knight e5, take castle queen e4, g6, and queen h4, trying to threaten checkmate on this h7 square and opening up um, this king side. And now these two pawns are very strong, bishop b2, open up this diagonal, and we're going to have a very nice attack here for white. Um, so that's, that's what we're going to do if knight e7. Um, now we're going to look at if he plays knight f6, so over here, so knight f6. Now here we take on d4, once again get that in for free, and now e5, so kick this knight away. Because um, here he doesn't have many good squares. If knight e4, bishop d5 is going to trap that knight. Knight g4, and now we're going to play bishop g5. You're going to see this knight is going to run out of squares the second he plays h6. So here, knight to e7, f6 is bad, because here we can take, and now he's never going to castle, rookie one check is going to keep his king in the middle. Um, so here, knight e7, and now knight c3, bringing pieces in the attack, threatening knight d5. Um, if h6, now we're going to play take, take, queen b3, threatening knight d5, Hit, taking on b6, and maybe taking on f7, depending on where the queen goes. Um, and after castle, h3 is going to trap this knight, finally. And here we're going to have a very, very nice position. Um, now, here, that's what we do against this knight f6 move. So lastly, we're going to look at if uh, d6. So d6, take on d4, bishop to b6, and now knight c3. Um, and if bishop g4, now we have this bishop b5 move. Now here, the only way to save this knight is to play king f8. Otherwise, d5 is going to win this piece because of the pin. Um, and here, now just bishop e3, take, take. And now even though our king is a little bit open, he can't castle. And his development is going to be way, way behind. Um, so now instead of bishop or into bishop g4, if knight f6, here we play e5, open it up, and now bishop a3. And now you can even take this pawn, um, but here we're, this king is going to be wide open. So here, for example, we have knight b5, some variations we can play queen b3, um, and get these rooks on this e file. So here, let's say, for example, bishop takes a1, we can take here, and now there's too many threats over here. Um, queen takes e5 is actually almost coming with checkmate. Um, and his king is stuck in the middle, and here white is doing very, very well. Just to double check, we'll ask our friendly fish. And our friendly fish is about to say that white is, wait for it, plus three in this position. So very, very good for white. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to play 
against Bishop C5 in the Evans Gambit. Um, make sure to check out wolfchess.org for great lessons, puzzles, and videos, and hope you guys were entertained.